Hello everyone, welcome back. Finally, after a long time, I'm making a video and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to discuss the Premier League fixtures which are going to release today. Because I'm making this video in Indian time at around 11.30 and it's only 30 minutes left towards 12 o'clock and another day. So the Premier League fixtures we can see are going to come today and I'm so excited. So today I give my dream list. Please everyone, do give a watch, do support. I want to keep making videos and just share my opinions on this beautiful sport called football. So now I'm going to start. So, if we think about dream, we think Chelsea versus Leicester. Revenge for that FA Cup that Leicester won. But then Chelsea beat them 2-1 and that match most probably finished Leicester's chance to get the top 4 and get an 80 million package because Champions League rewards you with 80 million. So most probably Leicester took the FA Cup, Chelsea got the Champions League. Or do we want the London Derby, West Ham versus Arsenal? Or do we want Man U versus Crystal Palace? Because Crystal Palace are a team that just love to travel to Old Trafford. As a Chelsea fan, I don't like going to Old Trafford, but Crystal Palace just love to go there and get some victories. So let's start the video and I'll give you my dream list along with the realistic one as well. This is very realistic. This is my dream as well as I think this many of this picture could also be possible. So let's straight away get into it. And the first one that is my dream and I want this match to happen is between two football purist team that is Manchester City and Leeds United. Marcelo Bielsa was his Pep Guardiola. Two football philosophy, two people who want to play the right way, the beautiful way. And a team last year who took four points out of Manchester City at Etihad Stadium, they got a 2-1 victory with a red card and at their own home, they dominated the city and got a 1-1 draw. So do we want to see champions at their own home against Leeds United? I really want this fixture to start the season. What a way to start the Premier League with the champions versus the overachievers last year. The second picture I will want is time to respond. Southampton. My goodness, this club loves getting beaten 9-0. And last year, they were battered, humiliated by Manchester United. They did not even took a pity. They scored and scored and scored and scored and scored. And they wanted to beat the heck out of Southampton. But do Southampton have got some pride? They led 2 0 against United and they lost 2 3. And then they lost 9 0 to Manchester United. Have they got a pride in themselves to take the revenge for that? And finally, Hassan Hutel can cry in the right way as he did against Liverpool, that is by taking the revenge? Or is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer going to put another dent in them? And I think this picture at St. Mary Stadium is a very exciting one. If we get this on the first day of the stadium, the build-up is going to be fantastic. The third picture that I want to discuss about, I think that many people will not fancy this, but I love the look of this. Watford at Vicarage Road, the newly promoted team with the optimism of getting promoted versus West Ham United. Remember, Watford and West Ham were in the relegation zone in 2019-20 season. And West Ham got a draw against United, a victory against Chelsea, and even then they were in danger of relegation. It was a do or die match, West Ham versus Bedford at West Ham's home stadium, and West Ham destroyed them, humiliated them. And West Ham most probably relegated Bedford out of the Premier League. So, can Bedford take the revenge to confirm their relegation, or are we going to see West Ham continuing their last season performance? Then the other picture I move on and that could be a very good picture look on this. One is the XG Kings Brighton who always play well but they do not get the result. And on the other hand, can Liverpool reinforce their pride? Last year they were beaten by Brighton, Burnley at home. They were horrific against bottom teams but you have to understand they lost Van Dijk, they lost a lot of defenders. Now there's a new optimism, Konate, Van Dijk fit. Liverpool most probably trying to win the title. Can they reinforce their pride and the Anfield fear among the teams? And Brighton, a very good team who do not fear anyone. I do look that I do like the look of this fantastic picture. The next one is the most exciting one that I've been looking forward to, and I want this picture to happen. Is the revenge 
for loss of millions. Tottenham had nothing to fight for. They were fighting to qualify for the UEFA Conference League. They could have easily lost, given their London rivals Chelsea a bit of fear before going to the Champions League final, because then they might not have Champions League qualification to secure. But Tottenham went there, and Gareth Bale, most probably his last Tottenham game, he left it on a high. He favoured his London rivals Chelsea, and Tottenham destroyed Leicester 2 4. So, can Brendan Rodgers finally get it one thing this year, top four? Or at least can create revenge against a team that caused them that particular thing? Now, we move on to the next picture I will want, and that is a London derby between Crystal Palace, who are right now managerless, but there are rumors of Frank Lampard, there were rumors of Nuno, which have gone down now, and the newly promoted team, Brentford. Story of Brentford is so amazing. Last year, they were beaten in the final. Sadness. Many people broke down and sometimes you see many teams lose in the final and they don't have the courage to respond next season. But Brentford had the courage and this time they again went to a playoff final. And this time they comfortably won it. And what a way to start a season against our London rivals Crystal Palace. So this is the picture I would love to see. The next one I move on to is a new era. Last time when these two teams collided, it confirmed the relegation of a particular team that was Norwich City. They were beaten by Burnley and even if they had a glimmer of hope, that was killed off by Burnley who beat them away at Carrow Road. Norwich have again come back to the Premier League, they have cut their particular process, they kept their manager and have comfortably come back into the Premier League. Now can they make the best use of it? And can they start a new era with a victory? Or are they going to repeat the season where they were horrific? The next picture I move on is about awakening spirit, a giant club, an invincible club who went unbeaten the whole season have now become a very, very, very what we say a banter club. They get beaten by every team, but can they awaken their spirit? And what a way to start a season to play a team that beat you two times last season in Aston Villa where they were thrashed and made it 3-0 and they were beaten at Villa Park 1-0. Aston Villa have already taken Emilio Bundia away from Arsenal. And many people are joking about Arsenal, not a top uh, players are taken away. What a way to awaken a spirit to start the season at Emirates Stadium and beat the heck out of Aston Villa. And on the other hand, what a way for Dean Smith to start the season to go at Arsenal away and show last year Grealish was injured. And that is why we did not get into the top 7. This time, with Bundia, we mean business. The next one I move on is on my team Chelsea and I will want us to play Wolves because they are one bogey team we never like to play. Wolves since they got promoted to Premier League, they beat us 2-1, then they got a 1-1 draw and Eden has our 91st minute strike saved us and the Frank Lampard we did a double over them but again this team, again they bit us in the back. They beat us 2-1 which most probably started the bad form and most probably led to Frank Lampard's sacking a very dearie person in all Chelsea fans and then they got a nil nil draw when Thomas Tuchel was appointed and had only 5 or 6 hours for preparation for the game. Can we finally at least put this bogey team into the bed or are Wolves gonna start the season with the new manager with a bang? The next and the last one I'm gonna discuss about is Newcastle versus Everton. Now people will say what's so exciting about this match? Most probably Nuno is gonna be the Everton manager, there's no Carlo Ancelotti, what's so exciting? Exciting is looking what Everton did last year. They were superb against the Baker side. They were everyone's worst dream. They were everyone's worst dream last season to play for the bigger sides. But they were a dream team to play for the bottom sides. Newcastle did a double over them. Fulham beat them. Sheffield beat them. Sheffield. Burnley took four points out of them. Everybody enjoyed playing them. Can Everton finally put something into the bed in the Nuno and that is beating the bottom side? or this so-called bottling Everton side will continue. And on the other hand, with St. James Park fans back, are we going to see Newcastle start the season with a bang or the ownership problem everything is going to play its hand. So these are my dream and realistic picture list that I think could happen in the Premier League and I wish this happens. So this was my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do give me support. Please I want to make more and more videos. Please at least subscribe, at least give reviews and please leave your comment in the comment section. Thank you everyone.